In articulatory phonetics, a consonant is a speech sound that is articulated with complete or partial closure of the vocal tract. Examples are p, pronounced with the lips, t, pronounced with the front of the tongue, k, pronounced with the back of the tongue, h, pronounced in the throat, f, and s, pronounced by forcing air through a narrow channel, and m, and n, which have air flowing through the nose. Contrasting with consonants of vowels. Since the number of possible sounds in all of the world's languages is much greater than the number of letters in any one alphabet, linguists have devised systems such as the International Phonetic Alphabet to assign a unique and unambiguous symbol to each attested consonant. In fact, the English alphabet has fewer consonant letters than English has consonant sounds, so digraphs like ch, sh, th, and zh are used to extend the alphabet and some letters and digraphs represent more than one consonant. For example, the sound spelled th and this is a different consonant than the th sound in thin. Terminology, the word consonant comes from Latin oblique stem consonant, from ka and sonan sounding together, a calc of Greek i florin i i one quarter i i per mil i one half i one half za one half mph non. Dionysius Thrax calls consonants R one half mpha na pronounced with, because they can only be pronounced with a vowel. He divides them into two subcategories, ha ma fe na, semivowels, which correspond to continuants, not semivowels, and a fe na, mute or silent consonants, which correspond to stops, not voiceless consonants. This description does not apply to some human languages, such as the Silesian languages, in which stops sometimes occur without vowels, and the modern conception of consonant does not require co-occurrence with vowels. Letters, the word consonant is also used to refer to a letter of an alphabet that denotes a consonant sound. The 21 consonant letters in the English alphabet are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, X. Z, and usually W and Y, the letter Y stands for the consonant in yoke, the vowel in myth, the vowel in phony, and the diphthong in my. W always represents a consonant except in combination with a vowel letter, as in growth, raw, and how, and in a few loan words from Welsh, like CRWTH or CWM. In some other languages, such as Finnish, Y only represents a vowel sound. Consonants versus vowels, Consonants and vowels correspond to distinct parts of a syllable, the most sonorous part of the syllable, called the syllabic peak or nucleus, is typically a vowel, while the less sonorous margins are typically consonants. Such syllables may be abbreviated CV, V, and CVC, where C stands for consonant and V stands for vowel. This can be argued to be the only pattern found in most of the world's languages, and perhaps the primary pattern in all of them. However, the distinction between consonant and vowel is not always clear-cut, there are syllabic consonants and non-syllabic vowels in many of the world's languages. One blurry area is in segments variously called semivowels, semiconsonants, or glides. On the one side, there are vowel-like segments that are not in themselves syllabic but that form diphthongs as part of the syllable nucleus, as the I in English boil, e-b-e-l. On the other, there are approximants that behave like consonants in forming onsets but are articulated very much like vowels, as the Y in English yes, ejes. Some phonologists model these as both being the underlying vowel, so that the English word bit would phonemically be, beat would be, and yield would be phonemically. Likewise, foot would be, food would be, wood would be, and wood would be. However, there is a difference in articulation between these segments, with a J, in, ejes, yes and, ej squared ld yield and the, w, of, e wood e, wood having more constriction and a more definite place of articulation than the, e, in, e b e l, boil or, e b t, bit or the, ish of, e feshed foot. The other problematic area is that of syllabic consonants, segments articulated as consonants but occupying the nucleus of a syllable. This may be the case for words such as church in rhotic dialects of English, 
although phoneticians differ in whether they consider this to be a syllabic consonant, or a rhotic vowel, some distinguish an approximant that corresponds to a vowel, for rural is or, ee -e to the first ee -e 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 copyright. Others see these as a single phoneme. Other languages use fricative and often trilled segments as syllabic nuclei, as in Czech and several languages in Democratic Republic of the Congo, and China, including Mandarin Chinese. In Mandarin, they are historically allophones of, and spelled that way in pinyin. Laidforged and Madison call these fricative vowels, and say that they can usually be thought of as syllabic fricatives that are allophones of vowels. That is, phonetically they are consonants, but phonemically they behave as vowels. Many Slavic languages allow the trill, re copyright, and the lateral, li copyright as syllabic nuclei. In languages like Nuxalk, it is difficult to know what the nucleus of a syllable is, or if all syllables even have nuclei. If the concept of syllable applies in Nuxalk, there are syllabic consonants in words like seal fat. Miyako in Japan is similar, with the build and to pull. Features each spoken consonant can be distinguished by several phonetic features, the manner of articulation is how air escapes from the vocal tract when the consonant or approximant sound is made. Manners include stops, fricatives, and nasals. The place of articulation is where in the vocal tract the obstruction of the consonant occurs, and which speech organs are involved. Places include bilabial, alveola, and velar. In addition, there may be a simultaneous narrowing at another place of articulation, such as palatalization or pharyngealization. The phonation of a consonant is how the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. When the vocal cords vibrate fully, the consonant is called voiced. When they do not vibrate at all, it is voiceless. The voice on set time indicates the timing of the phonation. Aspiration is a feature of VOT. The airstream mechanism is how the air moving through the vocal tract is powered. Most languages have exclusively pulmonic aggressive consonants, which use the lungs and diaphragm, but ejectives, clicks, and implosives use different mechanisms. The length is how long the obstruction of a consonant lasts. This feature is borderline distinctive in English, as in holy, hushli versus holy, hushli, but cases are limited to morphine boundaries. Unrelated roots are differentiated in various languages such as Italian, Japanese, and Finnish, with two length levels, single, and geminate. Estonian and some Sami languages have three phonemic lengths, short, geminate, and long geminate, although the distinction between the geminate and overlong geminate includes suprasegmental features. The articulatory force is how much muscular energy is involved. This has been proposed many times, but no distinction relying exclusively on force has ever been demonstrated. All English consonants can be classified by a combination of these features, such as voiceless alveolar stop, T. In this case, the airstream mechanism is omitted. Some pairs of consonants like PB, TD are sometimes called Fortis and Lenis, but this is a phonological rather than phonetic distinction. Consonants are scheduled by their features in a number of IPA charts. Examples, the recently extinct Uwik language had only two or three vowels but 84 consonants. The Tor language has 87 consonants under one analysis, 164 under another, plus some 30 vowels and tone. The types of consonants used in various languages are by no means universal. For instance, nearly all Australian languages lack fricatives. A large percentage of the world's languages lack voiced stops as phonemes such as b, d, and e. Most languages, however, do include one or more fricatives, with s being the most common, and a liquid consonant or two, with l, the most common. The approximant, w, is also widespread, and virtually all languages have one or more nasals, though a very few, such as the central dialect of Rotokas, lack even these. This last language has the smallest number of consonants in the world, with just six. Most common, the most common consonants around the world are the three voiceless stops, P, T, K, and the two nasals, M, N. However, even these common five are not universal. 
several languages in the vicinity of the Sahara Desert, including Arabic, Lak, P. Several languages of North America, such as Mohawk, Lak both of the labials, P, and, M. The Wichita language of Oklahoma and some West African languages such as Ijo lack the consonant on a phonemic level, but do use it as an allophone of another consonant. A few languages on Bougainville Island and around Puget Sound, such as Maka, lack both of the nasals, M, and, N. The click language NCNG lacks, T, and colloquial Samoan lacks both alveolars, T, and, N. Despite the 80-odd consonants of Uwik, it lacks the plain velar in native words, as do the related Adigi and Kabadian languages. But with a few striking exceptions, such as Xavanti and Tahitiana Euro, which have no dorsal consonants whatsoever a Euro nearly all other languages have at least one velar consonant, the few languages that do not have a simple, K, usually have a consonant that is very similar. For instance, an aerial feature of the Pacific Northwest Coast is that historical, K, has become palatalized in many languages, so that Sarnik for example has, T E florin and, K but no plain, K. Similarly, historical, K, in the Northwest Caucasian languages became palatalized to Inuwik and in most Circassian dialects. The most frequent consonant in many languages is, K. Audio samples, the following are consonant charts with links to audio samples. IPA chart pulmonic consonants with audio, IPA chart non pulmonic consonants with audio, IPA chart affricate consonants with audio, IPA chart co articulated consonants with audio. See also articulatory phonetics, list of consonants, list of phonetics topics, words without vowels, references. External links. Interactive manner and place of articulation, consonants, references, Ian Madison, Patterns of Sounds, Cambridge University Press, 1984. ISBN 0-521-26536-3